Surely you're supposed to know what you're doing. Are you my three o'clock? Oh, I'm so sorry. I've already attempted to apologize feebly, I might add. I was only a few minutes late. Late is late, Miss Larson. Don't let it happen again. Are you a secret shopper? What? Like they have in retail to randomly check service standards. They're like grocery ninjas. Yes, I'm quite aware of what you're referring to, but... You're wrong. Do you make a habit of that? Of what? Being wrong. You must be the teacher. And who are you? Me? I'm the one giving you career advice. So sit it and listen. As for who you are... Mariana Turner. 31 years old, Capricorn, brown hair, blue eyes, kind of turquoise really. Born, raised, educated and working in the same town. Head of department at Southridge Comprehensive for four years. Homeowner, single, stuck up, rude and... Please, continue. I'm done. D did it really say all that? I improvised. If it makes you feel any better, I'm a Capricorn too. Nice. So, teaching. You must enjoy that. I hear it's very fulfilling. Look, I'm in a position to help you here. But I need to know why you would want to quit teaching. Have you lost your passion? Have there been any negative developments in your personal life? Have you been hitting the children? I hate kids. You hate kids? Who doesn't? They're all right, I guess. No beef. Talk to me, Marianne. I don't know what I wanted more of. Respect, power, or something simply to do. Go on. I was always so afraid growing up that I wouldn't know what I wanted to do with my life, so I jumped on the first thing that came along, rode it for all it was worth, and pretty soon found out that kids really aren't my speciality. Still, you don't get to being head of department without doing your time. I've only been there for a year. You get up to much beforehand then? I bet you've had your fair share of menial office work before you... No. I, um... I travelled for a bit in my late twenties. Nice. Abroad? Loved. Was loved. Lost. All that. Oh, love. <laughs> Tricky devil. It's great, isn't it? I was heartbroken. Me too. So I came back, did some teacher training, and the rest they say is history. What did you teach? History. I hate that too. So refreshing to hear those in education, so full of hate. <laughs> I should stop using that word. Still, you don't get to being head of department without... Technically, I'm a substitute. What? So you're not even a real teacher? I, I am a real teacher. I do all the work around there and I don't even get a promotion. You lied on your form. Form? This thing. <laughs> Look, I know that you're a rather sort of new temping agency and you have a more personal approach, but can I be just a little bit critical for a moment? For a moment. You've hardly been instilling much confidence and, well, I don't know, did you not have a few practice runs before they let you out on the real people? Clearly not enough. Are you a real person? Do you want me to punch you? <laughs> Regardless of your current teaching background, or lack thereof. You state that your main area of displeasure is in the 
kids themselves. Is there any truth in this either? Yes. Suppose I always thought that I was a people person. Kids aren't interested in people anymore. It's all texts and tweets and MP3s. Their headphones permanently fuse to their ears. What year did you teach? I jump around nine or ten most. I was a handful back then, that's for sure. Shocking. I remember I had this friend, Kim. Real bad influence. Like a female worm tongue, you know? She'd run riot and I'd tag along. Started out pretty harmless. Doodling. Practical jokes, low rent gambling using pogs. I remember those. My wedding's pretty much funded my summer that year. Anyway, I started to turn more goody two shoes, and she. Well, I don't know what you'd call someone who tries to duct tape a girl's hands to a bloody hot radiator. Do you see? And that was like, what, 10 years ago? I mean, at least then children weren't characters as zombies addicted to nothing more than iPhones and Big Brother. Now children give up on their futures before they even realize they have one. Well, the bad news is kids are kids. Good or bad, there's no changing that. And I'm no expert. So what's the good news? Big Brother's ended. Oh, Let me ask you something. Did you ever have a dream job? What do you mean? You know, the whole... I want to be an astronaut or a Barbie doll when I grow up. Somehow I don't think that you're offering temping jobs in puppy farming. <laughs> if I was offering temp jobs in puppy farming, I would be puppy farming. Just kidding, I'm more of a bunny person. <laughs> Anything when you were slightly older? Well, I, I did always want to be a mother. Kind of contradictory. What stopped you? Nothing stopped me trying. Oh. Yeah. Ended my marriage. Thanks for dragging that one up. Cracking job. I'm sorry. Oh. You can save me the therapy shtick. I know you're likely to say that I've been letting out my anger on the children I'm working with rather than facing up to my problems and dealing with them myself. Actually, I was going to say something far less intelligent. You still interested? Still sat here. You don't need me. But I... you've already admitted you know why the kids drive you so crazy. Yes, the zombie iPhone thing. No, what I'm saying is, why don't you redirect your inner bitterness into doing something you clearly do love? What are you suggesting? Isn't it obvious? Teach a lower year or better yet, primary school. Nothing lower than that, or they'll probably still smell and wee themselves. Uh, I'm not so sure. I Trust guess. me, there will be piss if you go. No, I mean. I guess I could ask for a transfer. Yes. Try it out. See what sticks. Takes a special kind of person to teach teenagers. My uncle tried it and couldn't handle it, and he fought in the Gulf War. Wow. He lost a leg, too, in the Gulf, and he lost it in the Gulf. All I'm saying is that you missed out on the chance to deal with young children. So go do it. And hey, perhaps at that age you can show them that they do have a future to throw away. You know, before the iPhones get them. Heather? Yes? Not as dumb as you make out. You can call me Miss Larson. You would make a good teacher. Yeah, you too. No, I'm serious. Have you ever thought about it? As much as I've given anything, much thought, I guess. I might try out the ice cream look, though. You rock it. Small tip. Shoot. Take down the bunny. Why does everyone have to rag on about my damn rabbit? <laughs> I'll, um... I'll let you know how it goes. Likewise. What are five-year-olds into these days? You're asking the wrong person. Hmm. I rule. <laughs> 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 <laughs>